Today on BRS TV Investigates, what if I told you that we found a reef tank lighting solution that not only costs significantly less than the other lighting gold standards, but also performs better in terms of spread and even par distribution? Over the next few minutes, we'll show you how a bank of Reef Bright LumiLite Pro Strips raises the bar for what LEDs can achieve and how we recommend setting them up over your own tank. Hi, I'm Randy with this Friday's BRS TV Investigates, where we experiment on our own tanks so you don't have to experiment on yours. And if you thought last week's performance from the standard ReefBright LumiLite LED strip was impressive, just wait until you see what four of the LumiLite Pros have to offer for our tests that cover spread, spectrum, and par. I'll tell you right now that spectrum testing aside, today's testing data will show how these three actinic blue LumiLite Pro strips coupled with a single LumiLite 5050 Pro strip provide better spread and par distribution than anything that we've ever tested up until now. Beyond just showing you a bunch of par data and numbers for the LumiLite Pros, after today's video, you should have a better understanding whether the Pro Strips are the right tool for your tank, along with our BRS recommended mounting heights and intensities that we would use to create stunning LPS softy tanks like these, or even those jaw-dropping SPS dominated systems like this. I will say that for me personally, although the regular LumiLite strips put up a solid performance at just two inches off the water using their included mounting legs, the ability to fix multiple LumiLite Pros to a single mounting bracket and then raise them higher off the water not only helps with unobstructed access inside the tank, but actually looks really sharp as a single fixture over the tank. And because the LumiLite Pros are essentially two regular LumiLite strips in one housing, the additional output allows us to mount them higher without losing a ton of par, which we will demonstrate next in our spread test and recommended optimal mounting height. So the first step to understanding how to ideally implement the LumiLite Pro LEDs to light our tanks is to first identify what type of spread they offer and then use that information to dial in their optimal placement over our tanks in order to get the best performance from them as possible. We do all of that by identifying how many strips we believe will cover the tank evenly, along with how they should be spaced. Then we raise the light up inch by inch until we find a mounting height that provides maximum coverage with minimal efficiency loss or light spill. So how many LumiLite Pros do we recommend using? The simple answer that we found was by mounting as many strips as we could to the largest five hole mounting bracket, which wound up being three actinic strips and one 50-50 strip due to the additional width of the Pro strips. We tested this four LumiLite Pro combo over our 24 inch by 24 inch testing tank and not only found that their optimal mounting height was at nine inches, but in fact, combining four Pro LED strips in a similar manner actually provided one of the best spread performances we've seen to date. To find that recommended nine inch optimal mounting height, we first measured a grid of 36 par points in the top six inches of our 60 gallon test cube with the ReefBright LumiLite Pros mounted at six inches off the top of the water, then raised the entire fixture inch by inch to the point where we crossed our threshold for light spill and related efficiency loss of 15%. Here at six inches off the top of the water, we see a warm spot in the center of the tank with an average of 471 par, yet surprisingly, there's only a 38% reduction of that par in the extreme outer edges of the tank at 288. To give you an idea of just how impressive that is, an eight bulb T5 fixture that's almost the same size as the tank itself had a 48% drop from the center average to the outer edges, meaning at just six inches off the water, the LumiLite Pro outperforms one of the gold standards. Even more surprising than that was how that roughly 10% difference in spread and even distribution between the two vastly different lighting options tracked nearly identically as we raised the LumiLite Pros up inch by inch until we found our BRS recommended nine inch mounting height off the top of the water. Here at nine inches, again, we see ultra flat distribution from the reef brights. And this time there's only a 26% difference between the center and outer average par. Whereas at the same nine inches, that eight bulb T5 showed a 35% difference. The net result of our testing, the LumiLite Pros provide one of the best even coverage options out there. And by looking at the strip style form factor that spans the entire tank, following a similar form factor of the historical gold standard, it's not really surprising. Let's talk about Spectrum next with a couple of tests that will show us what the LumiLite Pros offer for Spectrum that will meet the needs of our corals 
how that spectrum compares to that same T5 Gold standard with the ATI Blue Plus bulb spectrum, and what we can expect for spectrum blending inside of our tanks, which oftentimes can be challenging for some LED fixtures currently out there to do well. So for those who have been following along, the LumiLite Pro LED strips offer that same spectrum as the standard LumiLites with three different options in the actinic blue strips and their spectrum peak at 446, where that coral pop and zing typically comes from. The 5050 strips that is a combo of both the same actinic blue LEDs with the addition of what I would consider cool white LEDs that add in a little green, yellow, and red and reduces that overtly blue to the tank, making it more pleasing to look at, followed by a white LED strip that still has a spike at 448, but is primarily what our eyes perceive as white with heavy amounts of green, yellow, orange, and red spectrum. We mixed and matched the actinic blues, 5050s, and white strips, but ultimately we landed on our BR RS recommended combo of three actinic pro strips and one 5050 pro strip which winds up creating a spectrum mix that's a bit wider than the regular Lumi lights that we previously tested specifically around 460 and when we compare that spectrum to the ATI T5 Blue Plus bulb, it's not as wide between 450 like we'd like to see, but still better than many of the lights we've tested and certainly capable of creating pretty stellar tanks and meeting our corals needs. Up next is the dynamic spectrum test where we take 10 spectrum readings underneath our 60 gallon cube with moving water and looking at those 10 readings, there's no surprise here that the roughly 88% actinic LEDs to white LEDs create a nearly flawless performance with only two individual LED colors to blend. Nearly flawless, meaning that unless you were looking extremely hard at spectrum shifts on paper inside the tank, our eyes would likely be unable to pick up any color differences amongst the shimmering lines. So the Reef Bright LumiLite Pros have that standout spectrum and distribution at the recommended nine inch mounting height and a spectrum range that will lead to some pretty epic tanks but achieving those LPS and softy works of living art or that iconic take that's filled to the brim with rainbows of branching SPS lies within the LumiLite Pro's ability to target par ranges to get you there. And up next, we find out if it has what it takes. First, let's find out our four LED strip configurations capabilities at filling this entire 60 gallon tank from top to bottom in as much par as possible between our goal for tanks filled with lower light demand LPS softies and polyps or 75 to 150 par, where our standard is 70% or more of the 108 par data points at depths of 6, 12, and 18 inches. We mounted the LumiLite Pro configuration at our recommended 9 inches off the water and set each of them to the fourth intensity setting using the included inline dimmers and found 94 out of 108 points measuring within our 75 to 150 goal, meaning 87% of this entire 24 inch cubed area is optimized to support all of your favorite zoanthids, hammers, frog spawns, blastos and acans, or even tanks filled with leather, zania, or other awesome softies. That 87% being the highest of any light we've tested. After reviewing the data for other lighting options on the same tank with the same goals, these four ReefBright LumiLite Pro strips perform at the top of their class, right up there with LEDs designed specifically for this purpose. However, the LumiLite Pros have another trick up their sleeve when we turn up their intensity to 100% and test the same 108 data points, for ranges between 200 to 350 par, which is our goal for creating a stunning SPS dominated system. So let's see how they performed. At that same mounting height and the inline dimmer set to their brightest settings, we tested an amazing 90 out of 108 points or 83% of the entire tank at or within those SPS dominated par ranges. Again, putting the LumiLite Pros at the very top of the list for best performances that we've seen to date. The only question we're left with, are the LumiLite Pros the right option for me and my tank? Well, in addition to the higher output and higher mounting heights of the LumiLite Pros over the regular LumiLite strips that we tested last week, if you're looking for top tier performance in spread, light distribution, and adequate par alone, for me, a setup like four LumiLite Pros is a no-brainer decision, especially when you tack on the lower price point over other more expensive options that are also capable of providing adequate par for those higher par demand tanks. Although in most cases, that cost savings does come as a trade-off over other LED modules that include an array of features and control, as well as more robust spectrum ranges and color channel options. 
So weighing what really matters to you will be the key to choosing the right tool for your job. ReefBright does have other controllability options available rather than the included inline dimmer switches like Bluetooth control or even 0 to 10 volt Neptune Apex Ready modules that you can add on. I will say openly that I recommend sticking to the included inline dimmers over adding these control options because each Lumilite Pro Strip has two independent dimmable channels, meaning that you would need one Bluetooth controller or one 0 to 10 volt controller for each strip which can really start to add up. But what if I told you that there's one more ReefBright LED strip option out there that offers the exact same level of spread and performance that we saw today, coupled with an even wider spectrum band within our goals, and also makes those additional Bluetooth or Apex ready control options more cost effective to implement? Well, there is, and you can find out just what the ReefBright XHO LEDs are all about in this next video here.